Hey, this is Bree. I'm going to do a flip through of my um, planner, my everyday carry, regular everyday that I use planner. Um, and it's just the months of April and May for this year, 2021. Um, I started in a different, if you're just tuning in and don't know anything about my planner stuff or follow me on Instagram, um, I started in a standard size TN and I could not make it work. I just hated the shape of it and everything, so on April 1st I moved in, back into my B6 Stalgy, or back into a B6 Stalgy, um, sorry, and uh, anyway, this is a cover by Naya Papery, um, you see the name there, maybe, doesn't really show up well, does it? It is like the grayest, darkest day. My three-year-old, almost four-year-old daughter keeps asking me why it's nighttime during the day it's so dark but that's okay it's beautiful outside and um, I am hoping that you can see everything well with the lighting I have in here so this is just a b6 stylogy cover and it's a little a little stuffed it has a a6 no goodness an a5 stylogy that I cut down into b6 size and um, I just wanted that small grid that's in the a5 stylogy so anyway in the front I have um, some papers that I need and a picture with my stepdad and grandma um, she passed away a year ago and so I was like when my mom was going through photos I was like I really need that to be in my planner just happy memory um, some extra stamps and a this planner belongs to card with my phone number on it um, the Ten Commandments and um, this little uh, oh my gosh what's it called Fresno lens for starting fires and stuff um, and then I love this little it's like a um, keychain card from Starbucks that uh, Dakshina sent me some washi tape and she sent it on this and it's just so pretty I couldn't get rid of it and then I got this from another sweet friend in Happy Mail and I just I love it um, so up in front here I just keep some stickers that I grab quite a bit um, like some of my favorite sticky notes and icons and stuff and then I keep a cute little um, picture that my daughter drew me. So this is just scrapbook paper covering this um, first page here. And then on the back I keep a year at a year at a oh my gosh I can't say year at a glance. I'll get here at a glance calendar. And this is um, in my Etsy shop for only like a buck, which I actually need to go make that even cheaper because I was like the year is just flying by. Um, so I'm sticky notes I often grab on a piece of acetate from Planners Anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> I had to pause for a second. I'm saying all the wrong words today. So this is a lunar calendar for the year 2021 and this is also at, in my shop as a digital. And I just printed on regular um, like a high quality paper. And so on the back is blank and I have it just for references and stuff. Um, like fermenting references because I always for forget the percentage for some reason. Well, um, for the brine. Anyway. And then I'm keeping track of how many times I use my colloidal silver generator so I know how many gallons it gets me. I make half a gallon at a time, so. Anyway, um, this is a month at a glance for April. This is a, um, a die cut sticker that's from my shop. And I just do lists. I don't like draw out the month. Just don't really find that necessary. Um, so then I have a gratitude list for the month. And I'm going to go through April pretty quickly because I think I've already flipped through this for this channel and I know I've done it for Instagram. So um, I am just every week I grab a new, um, mostly every week, I grab a new kit for like an Erin Contour Planner. That's what most of these are for and I have a whole bunch of them because I would fall in love with them from different shops and I just didn't really use them. I don't have an Erin Contour Planner. And uh, they were just sitting there, and so I was like, every week I'm going to use a new kit. Um, they're weekly kits, but some of them have a lot of stickers. And so a couple of them have actually gone into two weeks. But um, my goal was to just use them up this year, so that's what I'm doing. This planner should get me through um, the year 2021. I am obsessed with this washi tape. It's so pretty. Um, it's, so it would be what? April through whatever, it's like what, nine months? So I planned it out so that I didn't start my note, note section until back far enough that I could fit nine whole months of daily planning in this thing. I love 
progress. Little Ada. <laughs> so cute. So most of the stuff is actually like, besides the kits, most of the stuff is actually just from my shop because in my shop I just list stuff that I like to use. <laughs> Um, stuff that I love and I will make it and list it. Um, so th this is May and this is my die cut for it. I actually wrote all this out forgetting to put the die cut down and so I just put it down like a little flip out. Um, and then my gratitude list for May, almost done. Today's the 27th the day I'm filming this and this is just a pretty vellum. This is not actually in my shop but I did make it. It was just, it was just fun. So. Oh, I love this week. This actually, this is uh, Two Little Bees, I think. And this had so many stickers in it that I used it for two straight weeks. Pretty sure this is the one. It's just so pretty and the paper feels amazing. That's my favorite bird, Roseate Spoonbill. This is just, it looks so blurry because it's actually a watercolor painting of one. And then I just, I printed it onto vellum, so. Oh, so pretty. And I got this, um, this is actually in my personal, right, personal wide ring planner forever. And then when I stopped using rings and actually sold my planner, I just, I love this so much. So I finally just tipped it into here so I could actually have it and see it. And I'm obsessed with these weekend stickers. These are in my shop. I just love the, love the rainbows. I'm also trying very hard to use up more of my vellum and acetate in my planner because I've had it forever and I just don't use it. Just because it's pretty and I want to hoard it. So I'm not impressed with these um, kits. These are, oh my gosh, I'm completely blinking. Indian Ivy, I think. Um, and they're, they're super cute kits and I had, I had heard so many good things about them and so I went on and I found a couple that I really liked and um, I just hate the sticker paper. It's like, it's, the stylgy paper is nice, and when you have, like, my stickers or Two Little Bees, we all use, like, this really, like, smooth unicorn matte. It's so beautiful and feels so good, and these are actually, like, really rough compared to that. They're just really cheap sticker paper, like what you'd use for, like, a packing label, and I love their artwork, and I have a few of their kits to use still, but I, I won't be buying those again. But look how cute these are. I don't know. It sucks. I wish they were digital kits and I could just print them on my own sticker paper. So, um, obviously I made that one just for fun for myself. And then we're into this week. And then I have, you know, plan out for the next week. I do it a, um, a week in advance. I, like around Friday. And I'll, I'll plan the next week so that I can write things in that I need. But this kit is actually from, it was actually a freebie that I got during a sale time at uh, Josephine Bow Designs. And it was just so pretty. So these are Josephine Bow stickers, but these didn't all come with the freebie. They're like different freebies, all mismatched together. But these, the um, checklists and date covers and everything, are all from her. And I just thought they were so pretty. I love those. It's like the faintest rainbow. It might not even look rainbow to you guys there. I should probably, like zoom in. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. I don't know, but it's beautiful. It has hollow foil and I got it as a freebie and I was so excited when it came. I was not, I, just, I didn't know she was doing that. I wasn't expecting it. So all the way through the end of the month and then I have June going here. Um, a couple things that I'd already needed to remember for June. Got some birthdays coming up so I put a heart around those. And then my gratitude set up. Um, some vellums in here and it's a pretty uh, butterfly. Oh, yeah, Rem just reminders. I'll put on sticky notes and put them later on in the month so I see it. So in the back is just some um, personal notes, like a weight tracker, some video ideas, and then I have um, like my, my work stuff back here. In the back, the very back, I have more vellum and acetate that I want to use up, so I can just easily grab that when I'm ready. I have the tabs that I'm using in this planner, and I don't even know if I said they are from... Oh my goodness. I think they're from Josephine Bow Designs. Why am I blanking on that? Yeah, it just didn't seem right. I don't know why. 
yeah they are so like a really um, pretty deep purple so the foil is the actual tab and then the letters are in white but just some um, date covers I mean date dots and the rest of my um, like month die cuts are back here and then some washi tape that I wanted to use up because it's the end of the rolls and that's it um, I absolutely love this planner so I really love this planner cover um, from Naya Papery. I'm actually going to be doing a video very soon um, on comparing the Naya Papery planner to the Hand Stitch Leather Tea planner to the Horan Leatherworks planner. Horan? Horan? I've never said that word out loud. Anyway, like the Kelsey Creates. Gorgeous, gorgeous planners. Um, but anyway, I was going to compare the three for anyone who's like wondering because they're all roughly the same price range, um, obviously depending on what little like add-ons and stuff you get. Um, they're all beautiful planners and I would recommend them to anybody but there are some pretty significant differences so um, anyway I'm just scratching away at this one this is the espresso I don't even say that oh my gosh I'm terrible at video videos I didn't even like, say that this is um, in espresso and it gets beat up and it's just like seriously just fucking gorgeous I love it sorry if you don't like swearing I swear and I don't know I absolutely love it so um, I highly recommend this color if you go with night papery because it's just it's the most beautiful brown ever and all right thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video